Hi friends, I'm Miss Beth and welcome to Storytime at Home from Essex Public Library. We're going to start out with a welcome song today called The More We Get Together and there's some signs that go along with it. So our first sign is the sign language sign for more. Put your hands together and this is more. Our second sign is together, some fist and a thumb and some circles. Then our next one is happy. You're gonna go like this and make sure you smile. And then our last sign is for friends. You have two, and you go like this. Are you ready? And it goes like this. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Let's try it again. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And how about an opposite rhyme? Let's see. How about this is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, 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 fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. Reach up there. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. I wonder what in our world we're going to talk about today. I know who we could ask. Let's ask my friend Brown Bear. But Brown Bear likes to sleep a lot. So maybe you could help me wake him up. On the count of three, let's all say, wake up brown bear and see if we can get him to rise are you ready one two three wake up brown bear ah i see him he's brushing his fur and brushing his teeth now he's putting on his shirt here he comes Brown Bear! Brown Bear, nice to see you. You are very dapper today. Doesn't he look very handsome in his bow and shirt? Brown Bear, we have a question for you. What in our world are we going to talk about today? He says he has something he wants to show us. Is it over here? Okay. Oh, is it this? Look at it. It's a, it's a jar. It's a jar and it has a lid and there's some holes poked in the top of it. Brown Bear, what is this used for? What are you going to use this for? He has plans to catch lightning bugs. Have you caught any lightning bugs this summer? Some people call them fireflies. Well, it doesn't look like you have any lightning bugs in your jar yet, Brown Bear. Is that because you haven't caught them yet? 
oh, he caught them and then he let them go. Well, that was nice so they could go home to their families. Yeah, he said because he likes to have them go home back to their families. Well, fireflies or lightning bugs are a fun part of summer. And our story today is about a firefly who's looking for her home. Our story today is Firefly Home, written by Jane Clark and illustrated by Britta Teckentrup. It's published by Nosy Crow Books, which is an imprint of Candlewick Books. Let's get started, but I need your help. There are going to be parts in this book where you're going to be asked to help. So get your voices ready <coughs> and get your fingers ready and let's see if we can help Florence find her way home. There are those words again, firefly home. There's no place like home, and this special place is the home for fireflies. Fireflies have a bright light inside them that shimmers and shines. But wait, one little firefly is missing. Gosh. Oh, here she is, all by herself. Her name is Florence. Can you say, hi, Florence? Poor Florence looks very sad. Do you think she is lost? Let's see if we can help her find her way home. Where shall we start? Oh, look, there's a bright light peeping through the trees. Could that be home? Let's turn the page and see. What's that? No, that's not home. It's just the big bright moon above the sparkling sea. What about those flashes of light over there? Could that be home? No, that's not home. It's just a lighthouse shining out to the boats bobbing on the water. Now Florence has spotted a long line of moving lights. Could that be home? No, that's not home. It's just a train whizzing down the track. But the train's lights are so pretty that Florence wants to follow them. Say, fly faster, Florence, and flap your hands to show her how to fly really fast. You ready? Fly faster, Florence. Let's see if you helped. Wow, that was fast. And look, where are we now? Why, we're in the big city, and there are bright lights everywhere. But is it home? Is that where fireflies live? No, this isn't where fireflies live. These lights are too bright. And where's Florence? She's lost again. Can you point to her? Yes, there she is. Let's quickly turn the page to help her fly away. That's better. This park is lovely and calm, and poor Florence still looks very sad. She really needs to find her way home. Perhaps we need to make a wish.
Hey, let's wish on a shooting star. There are lots of shooting stars here. Oh, I can see them in the air. Okay, ready? Close your eyes and wish very hard that Florence will find her way home soon. I wish Florence will find her way home. Wait, are they really shooting stars? No, they're fireflies. They will know the way home. Trace the bright firefly trails with your finger and say, fly, Florence, fly, to help her follow them. You ready? Get your finger out. Fly, Florence, fly, Florence, fly, Florence, fly, fly. Let's see. All the way home. Your wish has come true. Florence is so happy to be home at last with all of her firefly friends. Whisper, night, night, Florence, and blow her a good night kiss. Night, night, Florence. Good night. That would have been a nice bedtime story. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. What other animals come out at night? How about this type of animal? Do you know what this is? A barn owl. That's right. What do owls say? Hoo hoo, hoo hoo. When owls come out in the evening, they always say hello. When owls come out in the evening, they always say hello. And what do they say? Hoo hoo, hoo hoo, hoo hoo. And that is what they say. Who else comes out? A mouse. When mice come out in the evening, they always say hello. When mice come out in the evening, they always say hello. And what do they say? Squeak, 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 squeak. And that is what they say. Who else comes out? How about this guy? You know who he is? A frog. When frogs come out in the evening, they always say hello. When frogs come out in the evening, they always say hello. And what do they say? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. And that is what they say. Who else comes out? These guys. Do you know what that was? A bat. What do bats say? You know, they are quiet. They say something, they do make sounds, but they're so high that humans can't hear them. So when they come out, how do you think they say hello? Maybe they go swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. When bats come out in the evening, they always say hello. When bats come out in the evening, they always say hello. And what do they say? Swoosh, 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 swoosh. And that is what they say. It's time for our goodbye song, Wave High, Wave Low. 
wave high, wave low. Now it's time we've got to go. Wave your elbows. Wave your toes. Wave your tongue. And wave your nose. Wave your ears. And wave your eyes. Wave your hands and say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.